Hello, and welcome to First Impressions, where I take a look at the first episode of whatever series, review it, and make predictions on the rest of the series. Am I breaking rules here? I mean, Samurai Jack is being treated as a new show, technically. It was really only been given a late season 5 and put on Adult Swim rather than on CN. I mean, I guess you could say that those things give it the illusion of being a new show? I don't know. Either way, enjoy this little review of the first episode of the new season. The episode starts out with an explosion and a family of blue cat people running away from the robots from the very first episode. At first it seems hopeless, before an armored up samurai on a sick motorcycle comes in and starts tearing apart the bug box with a variety of weapons including spiked wheels. However, in the middle of the fight, his mask breaks, revealing the samurai to be none other than Samurai Jack himself. Once all the bug boxes have been torn to shreds, Jack then hops on his motorcycle and rides away. We then get some exposition from Jack, explaining how 50 years have passed since the last season, I would assume, and how he discovered that he can't age at all. We then cut back to what looks like a cult meeting of women dressed up like a coup with a woman screaming as she gives birth to seven daughters. Man, this woman is a powerhouse of a womb. Anyways, we get back to Jack as we see him try to avoid an explosion and instead head down to a lake to try and relax only for PTSD to kick in and show how he feels guilty for unintentionally leaving his family behind. Let's just say this scene alone is enough to get this on Adult Swim. I mean, assuming the childbirth wasn't enough anyways. He drives away and is later seen cooking a dead rat for more PTSD! This time, however, it's his dad yelling at him over how Jack has forsaken him. He then proceeds to drive onward towards the explosion to face the threat there. We cut away again to see the girls aging well and training brutally, and I mean that in more ways than one. We also learn the leader of the cult is a Darwinian way of thinking. As in, she believes only the strongest of the strong deserve to survive. Anyways, we cut back to Jack when he finally reaches the town the explosions were at, we meet our villain. A bit late into the episode, but hey, it is the first, and I doubt this guy is important to anything in the future. Even though he's Aku's favorite assassin. Whatever, let me gush about this villain, because I love how this guy is designed. He has a stylish crunch coat, that straw hat, and that voice just oozes with personality. Man, it is good to see you, babe. Oh yeah, he also has the power to control inanimate objects through music. At first with a flute, but he does start singing, which seems to have a lesser effect. Maybe because the flute enhances his power? Either way, Jack manages to beat him, even though he doesn't have the sword at all, and then takes his blade, which splits in half and becomes a tuning fork. We get back to the girls, finishing up their training with one final test before being sent out to go and kill the samurai. If this review seems short, or at least shorter compared to the other reviews I've done, it's because despite the fact that I'm tackling a 22 minute episode, this episode has a lot of slow moments to help drive in the atmosphere, as well as some really good action scenes to showcase that even without a sword, Jack is still a badass. I usually like to focus on the plot of the episodes while pointing out the good and the bad I see along the way, and I'll admit it's hard to keep track of the notes when I was watching this the second time around, but I did enjoy my first and being surprised by the plot elements that were brought up. I'm giving this a positive 6! I'm probably not going to review every single episode of this season, but I will definitely have to keep track of the season as a whole. Also, this is my first positive review, at least when it comes to the video format. Just something to fun to end the episode off on. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like, subscribe if you wish to see more, and if you really want to be nice, you could donate to my PayPal. Links below. For now, bye bye